Hello everyone, Hermax here. In this video, I'm going to share with you what is the truth about gaming on Linux and what are the real difference between distro. Are you ready? Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. Four days ago, I made a six hour stream. I was a little bit carried away in which I was comparing Debian, Kubuntu and Cache OS for a gaming usage. So my point of this video was ready to show you what type of like issue you would encounter with each of the distro to reach the maximum FPS on each of them. And the idea behind this was to show that some distro, they are a little bit more complex to configure than others. That, that was the main point of the stream. But what happened is like I got kind of like carried away because during the discussion with you guys, I, I felt like I needed to do more. I needed to optimize, for example, Debian. I needed to, uh, you know, clean for my approach like Kubuntu. I, I needed to do all those stuff. But when we look at the result, and this is what was actually super surprising, Cache OS had uh, an average FPS lower out of the box than an optimized Debian distro. And at this point, you're going to be like, well, was that not like the whole point of Cache OS to be already optimized and give better performance than a, a classic base distro? And I had a lot of comments, even like during the stream and after like on, on a lot of Discord, where people were just like, dude, wh why, why am I going to play the optimized, you know, version when like Debian out of the box with like two or three little tweak will give more performance. So those guys who were saying that they didn't really see the end of the stream, obviously, where I showed that you can have exactly the same performance on Cache OS by just downgrading KDE Plasma 6 to KDE Plasma 5. Because for whatever reason, Plasma 6 was decreasing the amount of FPS average in this specific game, I think it was Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is a native game, by 8%. So it's, it's quite a significant margin there, but by just downgrading uh, the KDE Plasma stack, well, guess what? We had exactly the same performance. I think like my main goal about Linux gaming, like what I was trying to prove there, kind of like carried away. And I felt like, I needed to make this video right now. So let me explain. I'm going to start with a statement which is going to be kind of crazy, but I think it's really representative of what Linux gaming is right now and what is the real difference between those distro, which are like some are gaming, some are not gaming, some are optimized, some are not optimized. I'm going to say that all distro are equally not equal. I know it, it doesn't sound great in English, but I don't care. Like I'm, I'm going to stay on that. And this is the truth about Linux gaming. First, you need to understand what is the difference between one distro and another. And to do that, you need to understand what makes a distro a distro. In reality, all the source of those operating systems is open, at least most of it. So if you take distro A and distro B, and put exactly the same version of package, the same version of kernel, the same version of driver, well, guess what? You're going to get exactly the same amount of FPS in game. Simple as that. Like that, That's the truth about gaming right now on Linux. It, it's simple as that. So when you think about the distro A versus the distro B, what is going to really change between them? The first thing is going to be the package manager and the way you can, you know, manage your package, how the dependencies are actually working on the distro, like how easy is it to change one package to another, downgrade, upgrade, like all those stuff. Like that's, that's the first thing. Second point is what type of distro it is. Like is it a, like a like conventional distro or is it an immutable distro? Because this is going to add a level of complexity. For example, right now the immutable atomic distro they can't really realize when it comes to tweaking, personalization, 
there, there is a little bit of lack on this end. But on the other hand, they will give you more stability, the, the opportunity to roll back on snapshot really fast, right? So that's the second point. The third point is going to be really around like the vision of the distro. Do we have a distro which is supposed to be stable? Or do we have a distro which is more rolling edge? And it doesn't mean that the rolling edge is not stable, like it's, it's always crashing or whatever. It doesn't mean that. It means that the stable are going to have like a, a cycle release, which is going to be like timed uh, on a certain period. And each of the upgrade is going to take in consideration like certain like tests and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, versus a rolling edge, which is going just to push all the latest packages for everything because that, that's the spirit, right? So it's, it's really like the, the big vision difference here. And then the fourth, which is like super important also in, in my opinion, which is like the community presence. If you are on a distro which doesn't have a big community or doesn't have, you know, like a lot of like commitment within the community, you're going to lack resources, right? As a user, And some of the distro, which have like a big community, like productive community, you're going to find a lot of wiki. You're going to find a lot of help. You're going to find a lot of things like community repo, for example, that are going to make the usage of your distro totally different than if you are using a distro, which is like a black hole and you're going to have to discover everything on your own and talk to people like, you know what I mean? So I think the community involvement is also super important. So this is what makes a distro, right? But as I mentioned earlier, same package, same kernel, same proprietary driver, it, it should be exactly the same result in terms of performance. Like, don't, like, be clear about that. It, it should be exactly the same. Now you understand what makes a distro, you kind of understand the complexity of comparing distro, right? Because... If I do exactly what I've done like in the last stream, you might have results which are like going all over the place because it's really hard when you take like two distro out of the box to compare them like that. Because depending on the timing of the release of new packages, for example, on the, on the Cache OS or Arch distro or OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, for example, versus a stable one, you might have regression. And this is what we kind of like failed last time. We are like, man, we just got a regression. We are losing FPS. But what you need to think about is what are the, the pros and cons of each distro? So on one hand, for example, this is a perfect example. Debian has 8% more FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider out of the box. It took us way more time to install the NVIDIA driver and way more knowledge. That's also a fact. So you're going to have the same issue each time you want to upgrade because this is the way it is on Debian. That's their vision. This is how it works on Debian. On the other hand, you have Cache OS. And them, they just push everything. Like They just have always the latest of the latest of the latest. And sometimes you have regression. So yes, you have less FPS on Cache OS on this specific game. But guess what? You also have, which is, I, I believe, like important, all the new features of Plasma 6. So you want to activate HDR, it's here. You want to put a profile ICC for the colorimetry on your screen, it's here. But you can't have that on Debian yet. And I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know all the new features on KGE 6, but this is, in my opinion, the main one. But you have to think that you are not on the latest version of KGE. And this is the price to pay at this point of time. Maybe two or three months where all those bugs are going to be like corrected, well, you might have the same or even better performance of Cache OS. But this is what it's all about. It's about understanding the complexity of the distro and making sure that when you choose your distro, you are in a place that is relevant for you and what you do with it. That, that's simple as that. There is no king of the hill of the distro. So last, I think it was last month, I made a, a top chair list of the distro. And this video is actually fairly popular. But at the beginning, I really explained how, you know, I choose my criteria to take this distro versus another one. Like in this specific top chair list I created, and I'm going to put a link in the description below, 
I was really focusing on content creation and gaming and more like an out of the box type of experience. Because if I want to take Debian and I want to customize it, let's say I want to have the latest kernel optimized, well, I'm going to have to compile it myself. And each time there is an upgrade, it's going to take me like 12 minutes. Each kernel update. Then if I want to have the latest like packages, if it's not in their repo, well, I'm going to have to compare it too. And if I want the latest driver, because they don't provide the latest driver in the repo, I'm going to have to install them manually. And all of those stuff start to add up. And in my opinion, because in my usage, I don't want to spend time on that. I just want to plug and play and go. And that's why like the ranking of Debian was not the best, even if I love the distro. And this is what I was trying to prove with my stream. You can get exactly the same performance, but you're going to have to spend more time on it versus a, a cache OS or even an Arch base. Like you have the latest feature. Sometimes you're going to pay the price of regression, but sometimes you're going to be winning on the other hand because some of the features are so great that you're willing to take a regression or sometimes an improvement. But this is what is it all about with the rolling edge. I really hope you understand the point of this video. The difference between distro is really like what you want out of them for your usage. That's all. That's all. If you want to have a stable distro with uh, all packages which have been proven to work all the time, solid, well, you can go for a Debian. You're, you're going to be solid there. You're going to have more work to get, you know, in a perfect state of gaming, but you can get there. No problem. If you want the latest feature, if you want the optimization with the latest driver and you, you don't want to, you know, deal with it, you don't want to have to go to the config file and edit all the file by your hand. Well, you're going to take a distro which is more oriented to gaming. And, and I have a lot in my head right now. So obviously I'm going to think about Cache OS, but you could take a Garuda, for example. You could take whatever you think that will fit your needs. This is really important because I, I don't want to fall into the distro war, but I don't want to fall also in the idea that some distro are worse or better than the other. Like it doesn't work this way. It's really like related to your needs and also your hardware and the vision of the distro and what you want to do on a daily basis. And this is, this is what it's all about. So guys, I, I really hope you understand this little video because you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm always like trying to give you like the more objective feedback and I, d I don't want you to get lost in like those differences or this little like snapshot of performance at a certain instant where you're like, oh, oh, this, this, uh, whatever, like this throw is better than the other. No, it could be better for you use. That's, that's, I can discuss it. Like this is a fact, but is it really better? A versus B? No, it's not. It's just like one is going to be more suited for a certain use and another is going to be best suited for another use. That's simple as that, guys. So, yep, that's all for today. I want to really thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and I see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.